Hi, good morning. It's a new day full of new mercies and so many opportunities lying ahead of us in this day. How exciting to know that we're walking with the great I am. I want to read to you out of Romans 8 verse 37. Yet amid all these things we are more than conquerors and gain a surpassing victory through him who loved us. And the Jewish study Bible actually talk about super conquerors. That is an amazing word to think we are super conquerors. And you know, in Hebrew 1, it says that we are seated in victory with him. And you know, if you are seated with him, you are one with him. You do not only have his mind, you have his character. And whatever you might be going through, if you are in him and you have his mind you need to get to become one with his character and if you need patience in the season you're going through you need to learn endurance you need to grow in your faith then you need to tap into that characteristic of God and when you come become one with him you will grow in your character because we only grow in our character when we go through these difficult times. And God, by his incredible wisdom and his love for us, he knows exactly what we need. And that is how come he allow us to go through these difficult times. And I saw a, a, a thing by Charles Spurgeon where he said, trials teach us what we are. They dig up the soil and let us see what we are made of. How beautiful that is. So if God never allowed difficult times in our life, we will never really get to know who we are. So first of all, let us grow in knowing who he is. And then when you go through a difficult time, you just step into that name of God that you need, that character of God. And in that we will grow and we will mature. And more and more, we will not be influenced by the plans of the enemy or by any circumstances. We will stay in our seat of victory because that scripture is saying not one day we will have. He said we are conquerors. We are already in victory. So we need to visualize ourselves sitting on that seat of victory and we will not be overcome by our circumstances. And I just want to leave you with that incredible scripture in Ephesians 3.16. May he grant you out of the rich treasury of his glory to be strengthened and reinforced with mighty power in the inner man by the Holy Spirit himself. I bless you with that.